hello. Long time, no talk. It has been a week. Like, woof. Work was nuts. Crazy. I mean, crazy. It was one of those weeks where you are chained to your desk. Chained. Um, and then by the time I finished at night, I was exhausted. I barely read this week, which is so not normal. Um, and uh, <laughs> let's see. So Friday night, well, I was off on Friday, which was great. Um, kind of took it easy. Uh, it was really cloudy and I had plans to go visit a friend who just bought um, a house. So I was going to go see her new house and kind of have a little housewarming get together with just like three of us. So very small get together. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know what happened, but I tend to hold all of my stress in my neck and shoulders. And um, I also have these accordion doors that hide my washer and dryer. And you know, with like accordion closet doors, sometimes they can get off the track. Well, a piece of it actually broke off, making it like impossible to get back on the track. And I just kept messing with it and messing with it. And I was on top of a chair and like just doing all these things. And I swear, I don't know if I just did something in the wrong motion or whatever, but I basically tweaked and pinched a nerve in my neck, like right here. <laughs> And that was at like four o'clock on Friday afternoon and I was getting ready to leave to drive like um, an hour down the road and <laughs> I was miserable. It hurt so bad. I've never done that before. It just felt like I had like a constant like muscle spasm or Charlie horse or just like tense lock muscle constantly every time I moved my head. So, or lifted my arm, like just really weird motions. So anyway, <laughs> that was miserable. Um, so Friday night, by the time I got home, I couldn't move. I was just miserable. And what sucked was laying down made it even worse. So all night Friday, I just tossed because I'm a really weird sleeper in the fact that I don't lay still. I like to turn a lot <laughs> in my sleep. I can't help it. And so every time I would turn or get comfortable, it would wake me up because like the pain would happen. So anywho, not to just make this a complaint, but Saturday, so yesterday, um, I luckily have this like amazing Amazon um, like neck massager. It like is a neater, like a deep tissue um, massager that I got for like, I don't know, 30 or 40 bucks a couple of years ago. And I just had to dig out the charger for it. So I dug it out yesterday and sat there for like a solid four hours with that thing going on my neck. And I really don't think I would be this far into the healing process of it without that. Now, don't get me wrong. My neck is sore today, like sore. Um, but it's not like that same pain anymore. Like I'm not having like the tensed up muscles or anything like that. I've been using Icy Hot or BioFreeze religiously. Um, so yes, it's sore this morning. Like sleep was a little bit better. Um, it definitely still was painful, but it wasn't like as painful as it was. So, but I do feel like I can actually do something today. Um, I am going to hopefully make it to the pool and finish the Boundless. Just get it done. Um, I think we all know how I've been feeling about that. So, and then apparently we had an earthquake here this morning. I did not feel it. Um, I kind of slept through it because I was so exhausted from lack of sleep. So, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> but anyway, I've... Uh, walked Odin this morning. We went and did a grocery pickup real fast from Lowe's Food. And um, now I'm just hanging out with the cats and him, obviously. And we'll be getting ready and going to the pool later on this afternoon. Uh -huh. So maybe I can actually get a little bit of vlogging done. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. So anyway. <laughs> Well, a lot has <laughs> transpired since I last talked to you. Obviously, I went to the pool and I finished two books. <laughs> so I did finish The Boundless and I gave it three stars. I don't know, as I've mentioned, The Boundless is the sequel to The Beholder by Anna Bright. I absolutely adored The Beholder. I thought it was just a fun book. I mean, it was just, it wasn't like spectacular, but I enjoyed it and that's what it takes. Like, it doesn't have to be like, 
a court of mist and fury for me to enjoy it. Like I had a great time. But anyway, I feel like the boundless just got lost. I just, I don't even know how we got so far away from the original premise. The only saving grace was that she ended up with who I wanted her to end up with. Um, but I just, I don't know. It just didn't do it for me. So I gave it three stars. And then I finished um, Fire Falling, which is book two in the Air Awakened series by Elise Kova, which I mentioned is very similar to like um, uh, Avatar vibes. So if you like elemental magic, you'll probably really enjoy it. And it was really good. I gave that one five stars. It ended on a major cliffhanger and I can't wait to go home and like immediately start. Um, I think it's Earth's, Earth Ends maybe is the third one. Um, they're all on Kindle Unlimited. So if you have that, it's a great way to read them. Um, it is so good. <laughs> uh, it, I don't know. I love the like forbidden type of love story. So that trope is always good for me. Um, and I just, I really like our heroine. Uh, I think she has a lot of maturing to do, to do, but I do think that she is a great heroine to be following. Um, so anyway, that one is basically about a wind walker who was the first in 150 years. Uh, she's just a common girl named Vala, y Vala Jarl. Um, and this, the prince of the kingdom kind of figures out that she's an, a wind walker, which um, it just kind of happens. Like they they awaken they don't know that they automatically are sorcerers it just kind of awakens and she ends up kind of like forming this bond with him through magic and it's he of course is like a fire lord uh and fire bearer i think maybe is what they're called but anyway <laughs> it is so good um so and then i only have like 10 minutes left in the sequel to the bridge kingdom this one is called the trader queen and it's been just like an emotional journey that one is really good as well kind of has like same new adult vibes as um a court of thorns and roses but it's definitely a lot more political and there's a lot more war to it uh but the love story is just oh, so good um, this is a duology, but I think there's going to be more books in this same setting, just following different characters. I have thoroughly enjoyed reading about Aaron and Lara. I read The Bridge Kingdom during my 24-hour readathon and um, am finishing up. So, for whatever reason, the Audible version of The Traitor Queen released back in February, but the actual book doesn't release until September. So, I've just been listening to it on Audible. Anyway, a lot has transpired. I am leaving. I just um, had some cats that I'm taking care of. So leaving there and heading back home. So talk to you in a minute. Okay, I just finished The Trader Queen. It was so good. Um, definitely gave it five stars. Um, that's a really good duology. If you just need something that has lots of romance, gives you... Sarah J Moss vibes I can highly recommend it so really good um and update Odin come here this big boy is feeling much better it was just seasonal allergies he takes a um allergy supplement every day so I just increased it because he could be taking more anyway based on his weight so I increased it to three a day instead of just two it's just like a holistic option versus giving him like something prescribed for allergies and he is much better uh hey i don't think anybody needs to see that excuse me excuse me no one needs to see that no one i did not know that hellofresh started putting stuff in grocery stores but my grocery store had this because i didn't do hellofresh this week because with our hours cut like Funds wise, HelloFresh is more of like just something that I would enjoy doing but can't necessarily always afford right now. But so they had this and I decided to try it out and I'm super excited because I haven't had this one before. So we'll see how it is. Here it is. I think it looks really good. I kind of, it was actually a lot prettier, but <laughs> I forgot to take a video of it. So I like ma moved it around to get the sauce to cover it all up. But it looks really delicious. I just took a marathon walk with O and it is so hot outside already and it's barely like morning. 
Ugh, I just am like, ooh, so sweaty. But now I'm cuddling with the sweetest Cora. Say hello. Say I'm so happy. <laughs> Don't you just love it when cats like rub on the phones? So sweet. Ooh. Okay, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. This is the face of an annoyed person. <laughs> I get three miles from the pool and the radar is 100% clear. No chance of rain, nothing. And do you see that? Do you see that outside? And I mean, the pool is like 20 minutes away. So I'm here. I'm going to see if it clears up. Because I drove all the way here. I am so annoyed. <laughs> because here's the thing. I thought about not coming because it looked a little cloudy. And then I was like, well, the second I don't go is the second that it won't rain. <sighs> but I gambled wrong. Um, but anyway, uh, let's chat for a second. So I picked up the Storm Crow, which I read last year. But it's a duology and the Crow Rider came out. And I don't remember the first one. So I want to reread it. And I remember really enjoying the Crow Rider don't know of a synopsis yet, so I'm not even going to attempt that. Um, but I brought that to the pool. I am reading Earth Ends. I believe it's that's the title of it, which is the third Era Weekends book by Elise Kova, which I'm loving. I read like 37% of it last night in bed. Um, and then I am also listening to The Kingdom of Exiles. Um, it's really interesting so far. There's like dead people and also people who charm beast I think um it's it's good so far I'm enjoying it. it's kind of just I think like a mass market romance type situation like fantasy romance so I'll let you know um but yeah we kind of got a lot going on here lots going on but here we are at the pool let's see what happens <laughs> myself to starbs hello everybody i am freshly showered and just finished up dinner leftovers from yesterday's little like hello fresh kit that you can buy in the grocery store and i'm coming at you with a haul yay um <clears throat> just a couple of things that have come in over the past like two weeks that i've yet to get in a video so let's get started um, first of all, I think let's take a look at the books that have come in. So the first one is actually, um, well, I'm reading. So the first book I'm going to haul is the sequel to the book I'm currently reading. Uh, so that is The Crow Rider by Kaylin Josephson. 
which I am reading The Storm Crow, which I read last year and really enjoyed. And this is the sequel. It is a duology. So um, this is the final book in the series. And I'm super excited to read this. Um, I will say The Storm Crow has this awesome lightning embossed on this cover here that I think is so good. Um, so I'm kind of sad that this one doesn't have it too. But <clears throat> they're pretty easy reads. So I'm excited to finish out this series after my reread of the first one. So yeah, this one came in. And then to finally conclude the saga, dun dun dun, <laughs> here is my third edition <laughs> of the Court of Miracles from Waterstones. Finally with the correct sprayed edges. So yeah, I will keep this one just because it was like such a ridiculous like time trying to get it in if you don't know. I ordered it based on what was pictured on the website and they sent me one that did not have the sprayed edges. So I emailed them and they sent me two more. <laughs> this one, which is correct. And then another one, which also didn't have the sprayed edges, which is fine. I mean, so if anybody needs a copy of the Court of Miracles, that's just not sprayed, but it is Waterstones, um, hit me up because I'll happily just, if you want to just pay shipping, I'll send it to you. Um, but this is the inside cover. I, I certainly don't need three copies of it because first of all, I gave it two stars. <laughs> so there's that. Um, <clears throat> those are the two books I have to haul. Next up, let's talk art. These came in from A Touch of Magic Designs, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I'll put it down below just in case. And if you don't follow them on Instagram, I highly recommend it. They have the best art prints I am always so impressed with, I think she has quite a few artists on rotation. And I, in her um, recent story, she said she's always got like 14 different art prints going on at once. <clears throat> so anyway, I have been ordering from this shop since they opened back in June or July. And God, it is, she does some really good, uh, if you're a big Sarah J Moss fan, she has tons and tons of Moss art. Also like Grisha verse. So anyway, here's the first one, which is a print of our Grisha girls. So we have Nina, Inej, um, Zoya, and Alina. Um, I think that they're so pretty. I do love um, Six of Crows a lot more than I did the Grisha trilogy, but I just thought this print was really pretty and really well done. So I should probably, here, I'll take it out of the plastic for you. Okay, here it is out of the plastic. I'm like, just look at how stunning they look. I'll put the artist, or I'll try to figure out who the artist was. Um, but since she owns the rights, I can always just link the shop. But I am very impressed with this piece. And then my favorite piece recently is, let me take off the plastic. So like I said, she has tons and tons of Sarah J Moss art. I think that's kind of what started the shop. And <clears throat> this one is so good. Okay, be prepared. Look at Selena and the glass castle and Otterland like all below here and she's got her dagger and she's just, ah, uh, that is such a awesome art print. I cannot wait to put this on my wall. This is exactly how I would picture her in my head and the glass castle. Like I've never seen any other art of the glass castle. So uh, I love it. I it was one of my favorite ones. And they're very reasonably reasonably priced and she even has rep codes. So I think they're like 10 or 11 bucks a piece, but it is supporting like small business um, shops and like local artists. I say local, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, on the same vein, in terms of moth stuff, I saw these were in the most recent Fake Rate box and I had to have them because I don't buy from Fake Rate. I did, but I just found too many items in the boxes that just didn't interest me. I think they have really neat stuff, but their stuff isn't always things that I would use in real life. So, um, yeah, but these, so they're double-sided bookmarks and they're all like, okay, here's one. So it's Farah basically painting all of the eyes in the cabin and each side has like a different set of eyes that she's working on in a different like hand motion. 
and I think it turned out so good. I want to say these are Amarins because they're the Quicksilver eyes. Like I always remember that. There's the other side. I got these off eBay because I don't obviously have from Bay Creek. That's probably more. And then of course, Reese. But like, look at the detail and just how good these look. And it's such a good idea. Like I would have never thought to do bookmarks of this, but you know, that scene is so big in the book in A Court of Mist and Fury. And I just love having a representation of that. So yes. All right, <clears throat> next up, this was a purchase from a small shop called Brio and Brandish. And he, these are so fun. So she did a capsule collection of um, Throne of Glass. And this pin, okay, it is a spoiler for Kingdom of Ash. So if you don't, um, if you haven't read the books or you don't wanna know, look away or just skip ahead real quick because this is the final book, like something from the final book. But anyway, it is a pin and it's like a hello, let's see, there it is. Hello, my name is Lord Lorcan Locken. <laughs> and I just think that is so funny. I mean, just in the book, that's hilarious. So I love this pen. And then she also had a couple other ones, but that was, I was trying to be on a budget. That was my favorite one. But then she also came out with this necklace that says, you do not yield. Yeah. And which is also a quote from Kingdom of Ash. Uh, and I've already worn it once and it was very comfortable. And I really loved it. And it kind of just like, here, I'll kind of put it up against my neck so you can see how it hangs. So it's probably about like just below. So right there. So it's small and dainty enough, but I like carrying a piece of um, the crew with me. So yeah, that was that. And the final thing I'm gonna haul is not book related. But you all know that I love my Avatar The Last Airbender series. And this is a fantasy pen by Villain Codes. And it is from The Legend of Korra. So it is Avatar Korra. And look at how beautiful this pen is. I mean, first of all, the size, massive. Um, but in the background, you can see like the symbols for like water, fire, earth, and air. So that's kind of in the background. And then she's got like, I think that's either spirit or water. It just depends on which way you want to look at it. But there was a variant pen because she's in her av avatar state here. But there was also a variant pen that has like glow in the dark, um, the spirit symbol from that series. Uh, I'll try to pop it up if I think about it. But anyway, that is such a gorgeous pen. And I do love Cora. And then on the back, it says like Avatar Cora, and it has the symbols. And then it says, um, we're both fierce and determined to succeed sometimes without thinking things through Cora. And it is an LE of 40. So limited edition of 40. So yeah, that is my little haul for you guys. And I just wanted to share some things so then I could put them away. <laughs> that was the main thing here. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to what I was doing. I finally brought out this toy and Odin is loving it. Bought this a couple weeks ago and kind of hid it away so that we would have something fun. <laughs> I love watching their heads cock when they hear something squeaky. Ready? because it's flat he can't really figure it out <laughs> so he just scrapes it up someone was very hungry and was screaming his head off so we had to come and make some food for him isn't that right Nemo I know, I just moved a pillow, okay? It's not like you don't live here. I just moved a pillow. <laughs> it should check out fine. You guys, this has just been a terrible couple of months. I know everybody is probably struggling. 
but I'm telling you, this COVID stuff is just not fun. I mean, obviously it's not, but I mean, we've already had our hours cut and it was just supposed to be for the summer. Now it's till October 31st. And then today we found out that they've actually started letting people go, which the hours cut was supposed to hopefully bypass actually letting anyone go. I mean, I'm, we're very lucky that no one on our team was affected, but it's still scary. Like, I can't imagine how anyone, like, losing your job would be so devastating. And <laughs> it's just scary to read that, you know, and to just realize that, I mean, anything can change in an instant. And I'm the sole provider of my household and of my, my animals and I mean, since the divorce, like, things are definitely different financially. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of having, like, an off day, week, month, year. I'm sure I'm definitely not the only one. And if you have been affected by COVID, my heart goes out to you because this crap sucks. It really does. I am beyond over it and just... <sighs> Ugh scary. Things are just really scary. So anyway, just thought I would share. You literally have the cutest belly. He does this thing sometimes where he stretches his back feet out and he spreads his toes apart. <laughs> I'm hoping that he'll do it again. Zuko, are you going to stretch, bud? Well, friends, it's that time. Time to wrap up the vlog. <laughs> um, I had a pretty productive reading weekend, I would say. I mean, we finished three books. They may have been started last week, but we finished them. <laughs> so, uh, to reiterate, I read, or I finished listening to The Traitor Queen and finish the Boundless, finally, and also finished book two in the Air Awakened series, which was Fire Falling. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I didn't read much when I got home. Well, I didn't read any when I got home, let's be real. I continued to play Super Paper Mario. It's like the Origami King one that was a new release on the Switch, and I had a great time doing it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I am going to lay down and read The Stormcrow again. Well, kind of start that. I was going to start it at the, well, I started it at the pool and barely got anywhere in it because of the rain. So I'm going to lay here and read that and I will just catch you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching as usual. And I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe for more glowing content just like this. <laughs>